Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, yo man, we got Ti man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, yo yo, we got Ti um uh, taking care of business. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we also got um uh, folks wanting to link up with Kendrick Lamar, man. I'm talking about legends, man. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, Meek Mill spending a fortune, uh, blue face and his moms talking about prostitution and stuff like that. Uh, we also got um um uh, an update on the triple X ten uh extent. Triple extension murder case. You know what I'm saying? At 50 Cent. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. And hey, yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Yo, that notification bell's waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. All right? Hey, yo, check this out, man. Hey, yo, we killed the rat yesterday, man. Because we don't play that, man. We don't play that. That's right. Your boy was talking about the rat yesterday, man. Well, we got him. You know what I'm saying? We got him over here, man. Because, look, I told you, man, I was about to blow this whole joint up, man. The whole thing was about to be incinerated, man. You ain't heard about you ain't heard about an explosion in whatchamacallit? That was me. You know what I'm saying? I don't play that. Yeah, we got the rat. I was about to post a picture, but, you know, some, some cry hard is going to sit around. Oh, my God, you posted a dead rat. Well, that's how we get down. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. People will cry about dead animals. But if I posted a picture of a dead, well, forget it. Anyway, um, last time we covered a story on Kendrick Lamar. We done told you that the man was performing on stage, then he disappeared. you like, you like, when you say disappear, you mean like he quickly walked off the, I mean he disappeared, bruh. It was crazy. Look, don't let him borrow your stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, look, hey, yo, let me see that PS5 controller for a sec, then he disappears. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, look, 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 we ain't talking about Kendrick's disappearing the axe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, look, don't let him have a baby with you. You know what I mean? Um, check this out, man. We talking about Kendrick, Madonna, and buns. You like buns? Aren't those buns like 77 yet? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just playing. We ain't talking about buns, okay? Um, uh, but, but look, you know what? I was watching this movie called Old last night. Yo, that joint was scary. It was one of one of them M. Night Shyamalan joints. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something, man. If some, some, look, if someone doesn't actively come and kill you, old age is coming for your behind. You know what I'm saying? So please don't come for Madonna's like a virgin behind. You know what I'm saying? You like, like a virgin? Look, may I continue, please? Can I? Madonna, who is a true musical icon. She is an icon. You know what I'm Michael Jackson. I was watching Michael Jackson videos yesterday, man. Yeah, that dude is wild, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, my favorite joint was the um, Between Thriller and Smooth Criminal, man. Them joints was hard. I was like, imagine imagine getting robbed by Michael Jackson, man. You know what I'm saying? Imagine, imagine Michael Jackson sliding on your behind. You know what I'm saying? Watch Smooth Criminal. You get an idea what it look like. Anyway, um, uh, where was I at? you like, yo, man, your, your ADD is kicking in today. I don't have ADD, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. Anyway, um, uh, Madonna, who is a true musical icon, has stated on a Jimmy Fallon show. She said, quote, there's one artist that I worship more than anything in life. Sis, don't be worshiping no man. See, that's the problem with folks, man. They be trying to worship people. Just, okay, my bad. Uh, there's one artist that I worship more than anything in life. And I would love to collab. She said, I would love to collaborate with, and that's Kendrick Lamar. His new record is like history making mind-bogglingly brilliant i want y'all to spell bogglingly please spell bogglingly if you can you can it's insane so talented close quote that's huge man that's that's very huge for an artist to hear i want you to think about it for a second madonna has been doing music for approximately 40 years you know what i'm saying look next year will be 40 years man because uh i believe like a virgin came out in 1983 i think it was Look, if the two do something together, man, Kendrick will have worked with a musical legend. And I don't use that word. Well, do I use the word lightly? I don't think I do. You know what I'm saying? A, a true musical legend. And, and look, the joint will be transgenerational, man. You know what I'm saying? Is that a word? Transgenerational? Like, like you know what I mean? Like how it goes across generations and stuff like that? Look, that would be huge, man. Like <laughs> like a virgin. Was uh, 39 years. Because you know a virgin is. Um, 39 years ago was like a virgin. You know what I'm saying? But do you know? When Madonna was 27 years old, Kendrick Lamar was dirty talk between his parents, man. You like, why you even went there with that? I'm just saying, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? They was he was he was sweet whispers in, you know what I'm saying, in his mom's ear. That's what he was. You know what I mean? Um, because you know, like the father, you know what I'm saying? Like the father and the mother game. Well, okay, look. For some strange reason, Meek Mill has decided to show us his dream chaser chain, which cost a whopping 
200k now this is a story that i was supposed to have done was it last week in the middle of the week but i kept pushing the story back because i was like no nobody care about no damn artist chain who the hell cares about a chain man well apparently i do I, I put it in the story listen why are still artists why are artists still showing us their chains man i have no idea you know what i'm saying no one is impressed with artists and their damn chains man maybe artists are impressed with each other's chain maybe they're doing it for each other maybe it makes me feel good me personally i can't even bring myself to wear a chain i want to wear a chain see i love wearing all black you know what i'm saying so i would love to wear all black with a gold chain you know what i'm saying on some killmonger type joint you know what i mean look look, look. but for me right i I can't bring myself to wear a chain, especially the super flashy ones. It's just too pretentious. Yeah, it's a 200K, man, that's pretentious. You spent the price of a house on a chain, bro. See, that's that's why I work in education. Look, I know I just lord a lot of artists as listeners, but you know what? I, I know they mad because they make silly decisions. You know what I mean? They, look, I know they sitting somewhere calling me broke right now. Yeah, I might be broke, but at least I ain't dumb. Listen, I'm certainly not dumb enough to tell everyone that I'm rich. Who does that? <laughs> hey look check this out man um sh look shout out to the artists that can handle it okay the ones that are like man f you too celeb <laughs> next story hey look we're moving on to the next one just yet bro you know what i'm saying now in addition to showing you his chain that you'll be talking about well into the evening all of next week meek mill um oh, all of next week uh, um meek mill has stated 10 tapes independently starting in September. I think he's talking about like mixed tapes and stuff like that. He said, new music is dropping August 18th, the day my dad died, is when I start wilding again. I'm not dropping albums on Friday either. Close quote. That's right, man. Flood the market with content, man. You know what I'm saying? I think, honestly, I think that's a good move. When you flood the market with content. We drop these videos every day trying to flood the market with as much content as possible, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sauce, look, Sauce used to be like, yo, we need to drop like two and three videos a day. I said, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Be easy. Hey, check this out, man. You want to hear something toxic? You like celeb. I came here for toxicity, man. Okay, look. Blueface. Look, technically, I can stop right there. <laughs> but you like the poison all the way in, don't you? So, Blueface's mom accused your boy of pimping Krishan, right? She posted this. This is um, early in the week, too. I pushed the story back. So, this might be old news for you. Don't be jumping at me. Oh, that's old news. You think I... She, she posted this. She said, damn, the whole family prostituting this poor. This is what Blueface mom said about Krishan. Damn, the whole family is prostituting this girl. Now I feel bad for real. Y'all sent this girl back here knowing she in harm's way. I bet not hear nothing about the next episode from none of y'all. Because y'all sent y'all most pride, pride possession. Y'all sent y'all most pride. I think she meant prized. Y'all sent y'all mo most prized possession back after seeing her get socked out. I said what I said. I am the attention. Be grateful, get tired all you want, but I fights for mines until the bougie man or woman is gone. I think she meant the boogie man, but she said the bougie man. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll be right every single day about mines. You better ask them about me. Uh, ask. ask. <laughs> uh, well, let me not go there. I give less than a damn. Less? Less than a damn about his fans or their comments. So keep the algorithm coming. It's like she got a YouTube channel. That girl, that girl old enough to know that's not love. Bobby didn't love Whitney ad neither. <laughs> I know Bobby like, how the hell I get roped into this? They see a couple dollars and think that's love. Let, uh, what is it? Uh, Jaden the Lexus, Jaden the Lexus, get a man and y'all will all see his love. Oh, I guess she's, that's her, I guess. I'm the mama, I know. Looking for parents to interview that have suffered from their children's bad choices in love interests. Oh, she looking for y'all, some of y'all. Uh, DM me with your stories today. Thanks. Close quote. Cool. Hey, look, she's trying to make a bag. Everybody trying to get a bag. You know what I mean? It's a social media thing, man. It's, it's, it's easy to get a bag, man. There's money out here. He, yeah, she said, I don't even know that lady anymore. I lost her to the internet. She just wanted... Oh, 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 oh. My bad. My bad. You know your boy can't read. Blueface responded. Okay? I, I, I should have prefaced it with that. He said... He said... None my mom say is true. I think he's like, nothing my mom says is true. I don't even know that lady anymore. I lost her to the internet. To the internet. Damn. She just want to be known to get her hair done for free. <laughs> she ain't even allowed. Like, allowed, like, out loud. She ain't even allowed to see her grandkids because she lost herself to Instagram. And nobody want to be in a mix with her. Close quote. It's sad, man. It's sad. Like, it's sad. Like, I guess you can really be lost to the um, internet. Like the internet can really take you away. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a sad state of affairs. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I try to limit my usage of Insta and stuff like that. I mean, I live on, on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, like, I'm always, I got, like, a watch later list of all the videos I want to watch. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know what I mean? Um, uh, so, you know, I be watching my stuff. You're like, what kind of videos you be watching? I watch everything. You know what I'm saying? I be watching Say Cheese and stuff like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, check this out. There's been an update in the triple extension murder case, man. One of, one of the co-defendants, Robert Allen, accepted a plea deal and he will testify. That's right. They always talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't care how much your boys tell you they ain't going to talk. 98% of the time, they talk. Think about it. I want you to think about this for a second. If you commit crimes with your boys, who your boys love more, you or they mama? Answer that question, man. Who would they rather go the next 30 years without seeing? Are you following my drift, man? If you committed a crime with them, right? They done seen you do horrible things, crazy things. And they gonna pick you over seeing their own mama that fed them. You know what I'm saying? That stuck up for them. Anyway, on Friday, yesterday, uh, Allen um, pleaded guilty in, in hopes that he will receive a lesser sentence after he testifies against his co-defendants, Michael Boatwright, Diedrich Williams, and Trayvon Newsom. Allen was the one seen outside of Riva uh, Motorsports in, in um, Florida where Triple X was uh, murdered and killed in an apparent robbery. See, even when you when you do dirt with your boys and you think you thought y'all were going to do a robbery, a lot of times that joint be turning into a murder. A lot of people that are in jail for murder cases was like it wasn't supposed to be a murder. You'd be surprised how many. Those of y'all that are locked up. If you yo, if you could comment, man, comment. Let me know. How, like, do you, am I crazy? I imagine out of ten people that are in there for a murder charge, how many of them would you say are, were actually like? planning on doing the murder or was it like it was a robbery going wrong i'm i'm curious to know out of 10 people that say they in there for murder you know what i'm saying anyway i'm um Boatwright, Williams, and Newsom are all facing first-degree murder charges for their alleged roles in the murder back in 2018. Think about this, though, okay? Notice how they um, picked the team member that did the lightest part of the crime, and they threatened him with the full weight of the crime. On some, you barely did anything, man. You gonna risk seeing your family, who you love, for these dudes? If they murdered him, you don't think they'll tell on you? What's harder to do? Tell or murder? You know what I'm saying? They gonna pick the easier thing to do. Um, you like celeb? You a cop, bro? Nah, nah, nah. I'm, look, I'm a philosopher, man. You know what I'm saying? I love wisdom. That's what a philosopher is. You know what I mean? They just love wisdom. Anyway, um, uh, let me do my shoutouts real quick. Let me do my shoutouts real quick. We gonna we gonna try to keep this short. You like? Uh oh, that means it's gonna be long. Please, okay? Shantae Sunshine, I love you, girl. She said, I re-listened to yesterday's Beyonce story four times. Laughed equally as hard each time. Celeb, you're hilarious. I anticipate your video every day. I haven't missed one since the day I subscribed months ago. We appreciate that, son. You girl, you a sunshine to me, man. No, check this out, though. Check this out. I listened to the Beyonce story and I was like, I didn't hear anything funny. You know what I'm saying? These are just regular thoughts. Um, shout out to uh, Jonathan Broadnax. My man said, I'm a stan. I might actually be stan the man. I'm like, look, at least you admitted it, man. I respect that. I respect somebody that admitted it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, I had another shout out, man, but uh, I think I lost it. Do I have it? Uh, yo, check this out. Um, Richard Ack, my man said, hey, yo, celeb. I just listened to the Gang's album, and bro, I think you'll like it. You think so? He said, it's not quite the Helter Skelter, J. Rue, or, or Gravediggers type hip hop, but that fella did a nice job. I've been playing Fortunate on repeat. Kanye seasoned the track. Game also gave Keys a mention on one of the tracks, too. Did he? I'm going to listen to it. Matter of fact, hey, yo, I want to know the name of the song that he did that with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we can shout him out again. Uh, hey, yo, yo. Keys said what up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, check this out, man. Let's get let's get right back to this bad boy, man. Wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, I almost don't want to do this 50 Cent story now. You know what I'm saying? Only because... Uh, well, well look, let me tell you. I'm just going to tell you what he said, okay? Because, look, look, we got to be objective. We got to be objective, all right? 50 Cent made his rounds and showed up on Breakfast Club where he made a statement addressing um, uh, the claim that the game wrote, what up, gangster? Now, as far as I remember, I believe it was, I, I feel like I saw the game and WAC 100 sitting side by side, and the game was just sitting there saying whatever he was saying. WAC 100 butted in and said, the game wrote, what up, gangster? And the game didn't say anything. Now, I was like, okay, so the game must be being modest about it. You know what I'm saying? Unless WAC 100 is lying. And I mean, WAC 100 don't lie, do we? You know what I'm saying? 
Hey, look, you know what I ask people, man? I ask people all the time. I ask my students, I ask people all the time. I say, hey, look, if you kill somebody, what's that make you? They say a killer. And I'm like, yo, if you steal, what that make you? It's like, they like a stealer. <laughs> I'm like, it's a thief, bro. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, but if you lie, what that make you? A liar. So then I'll be asking them, are you telling the truth now? Like, am I supposed to believe you now? You know what I'm saying? You just admitted to being a, a self-professed liar. My bad. Um, um, 50 said, um, what again? okay, which happens to be his favorite. Um, oh, 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 all right. So, look, look. so 50 said um, he addressed the claim that the game wrote What Up Gangster. Now, What Up Gangster is my favorite 50 track of all time. Like, I play that joint on repeat all the time. You know what I'm saying? 50 made a statement. He said the following, take a listen. Love this verse. Yeah. What else? What? They, they, look, they said all kind of stuff about, like, he said he wrote What Up Gangsta? What Up Gangsta, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm like, come on, bro. He wasn't even around when we did that. Like, that was before we, you even came into the picture. Like, that's Get Rich or Die Trying. He, mm -hmm. he didn't even... Come into after that. Yeah, we didn't right. even know who he was to after. But there's a... I know, there's a point where you, desperation where you say anything. Like, this is how to rock me and how to rock. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. They look, listen, 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 listen. 50 said, they said what up gangster was written by um the game. I'm I'm like, come on, bro, you wasn't even around when we did it. There's a point where you have desperation and you'll say anything. Close quote. Then, then he said, that was how to rob. You know what I'm saying? That's ill. He 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 basically said he was at a point of desperation when he did how to rob. And how to rob was crazy. You should you should, you gotta listen to it. You know what I'm saying? He almost put it on a, a equivalent stage, you know what I'm saying? As a, like a like an act of desperation. Yo, man, sometimes, man, like, like, it's crazy, right? Because when you think about somebody, what's my time looking like over here? When you think about somebody being hungry, right? Some people are hungry in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But some people are always hungry. And that's ill. To me, that's ill. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, hey, look, man, look, look. I'm like, that's that's ill. If the game is, is like, yo, I'm desperately hungry now. And he's been in the game for over a year. I mean, over a decade. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what's up. You gotta keep the hunger up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I respect the fact that he um he, he took he took the shot at M. And you know what I mean? Like he he, he was like, I'm gonna challenge M because I know M is a savage. Um, check this out, man. Let me, uh, and finally, wrap this bad boy up, man. Let me give you some information that a lot of folks might not mention. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the, the media likes to focus on the negative. The artist Ti has partnered up with Morris Brown College and Moolah Wireless to provide free tablets with 12 months, free tablets, with 12 months of data service included to students to celebrate the restoration of the college. You like, that ain't real, that ain't real, bro. That ain't real, partnering with a college? Who does that? Hey, look, man, a lot of artists do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And believe it or not, people gravitate towards dirty. You know what I'm saying? But everyone wants to drink from a clean fountain at the end of the day. Yes, we all gather around dirty fountains and focus on how dirty the joint is. You know what I'm saying? But, but, did we not all love that Cap'n song by Monster and Big Flock? And I don't think everyone loved the cleverness of trying to avoid a Rico charge of that song. I think what we actually loved is that the song represented what most of our lives are like. And they made it sound hot. Sauce, once again. May we please play a clip of the Cap'n song for the uninitiated, for the uninitiated, please. Did y'all promote guns and violence in your videos? Hell, Hell no! Pop nah. up! Are y'all really selling drugs, getting money out here in these streets? Hell, Hell no! Nah. Nah. Crazy girl. So y'all saying that's our Cap'n? Hell, Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 the like an you see that, man? It actually represents what life is like for the majority, man. That's why I think so many folks love that joint, man. Most of us, normal folk, look, 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 look. We ain't catch a body, man. And we ain't move weight across the state. <laughs> look, we don't do none of that ish they be rapping. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because we got work in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I was listening to New York State of Mind yesterday, man. You know what I mean? The legend, Nas, right? Um, actually, I was listening to a dude that let his father listen to the song for the first time. I was like, this is going to be interesting. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, what's the name of that channel? I forgot the name of the channel. Dang, I'd like to shout it out too, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, look, 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 I'm going out. Look, I'm going out my way. Let me see Let me see what the name of that channel was. I'm going to go out my way and find. I'm going to find the name of the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just to let you know, man. I'll be trying to support the, you know what I mean? Uh, the dude's channel's name was, um, uh, it was called The Front Room. Okay? The Front Room. All right, they was um he, he let his pop listen to it, and I just like to listen to you know what I mean how how the how the older dude listened to it. Anyway, my bad, I was listening to the legend, and he said in in the verse he said um matter of fact source can we play a clip of it? Let's see if we can play a clip. Yeah. 
that I'm a gangster. Drinking my wet, holding text. Making sure the cash came correct, then I step. If we're just a nigga, walking with his finger on the trigger. Make another hey, yo, man. Um, if it didn't play, he said, be having dreams that I'm a gangster. Drinking Moet's holding tax. Making sure the cash came correct, then I step. Investments and in stocks, sewing up the blocks to sell rocks, winning gunfights with mega cops, but just a nick. Walking with his finger on the trigger, making enough figures until my pockets get bigger. Listen, listen, listen. The man said, I be having dreams like I'm a gangster, having shootouts and winning against the cops. But I'm just a dude walking around on guard and ready with his finger on the trigger. You know what I'm saying? I'm just ready for action. Meanwhile, T.I. is making sure folks have free tablets. Because I almost forgot. That's what we was talking about. T.I. has made sure that folks have free tablets and data service. Hey, yo, shout out to T.I. for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Anytime, like, artists are doing something positive like that in the community, man, may we please draw some attention to that joint. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, man, like, we need as much assistance as we can get. And when some of us make it out the hood, we need to reach back, man, and help those that are, you know what I'm saying, that are not planning on going about it the rap route. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Don't you love to see artists do stuff like that, man? Don't we want to see more songs like Capping out there in the streets, man? Hey, yo, man. If you, look, look. If you want to see more, more. <laughs> hey, yo, man, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.